Hello, and how is everybody doing? I am doing well. And I am so, 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 so elated to be here today. Amen. I thank God for this year, 2020. Um, approaching the, my uh, 55th birthday, which my birthday is starts the year out because I'm a January birthday. I actually January the 2nd. And from what my mother says, I should have been born on January the 1st, but we was about 15 minutes past the time when I made my entry. So just to, just missed that. And uh, it was a, it was kind of um, funny because, you know, back in the day, they used to give you um, gifts and stuff for the first baby that is born. And so mama was so upset because another lady came in after her and delivered right before 12. And, here I was, I was one of them children that <laughs> took her time. And you know what? I still take my time. I don't get hasty about doing anything. So thus is why I have not just frequently been online. And um, But I think that it's important that people are able to see you, you know, and uh, when you're expressing yourself, uh, a lot of times I love to write and I'm very good at it in my opinion, um, uh, but I hadn't put it to use in the way that I, I could have because um, I've kind of been introverted or, you know, somewhat um, um, discreet about life and stuff, just trying to maneuver through it and get through it and handle the task that was set at, at hand and um, in doing so I kind of just um, didn't have the energy to just uh, put something out there because I, I, I'm i somewhat of a I wouldn't just say a perfectionist but I, do, I believe in being excellent so therefore when I'm putting something out it has to be something that I'm comfortable with releasing because um, it's like my stamp of approval is on it. So therefore it, that can take some time. And so the time that I was already using was just always consumed with the task at hand as far as nurturing and caring for people and um, trying to work and trying to do ministry and just trying to be a servant. And so I just didn't take the time out to do some of the things that I was passionate about or really enjoyed in life. And how, how many of y'all know that life can pass you by in just an instant, just like that? Because um, I can remember as a young mother, actually I was a teenage mother, but I can remember thinking that, wow, I'm having this baby and by the time I get 35, I thought that was old when I was a teenager. My baby will be 18 years old and I'll still be young and I can just go on with my life and I can do so many great things and enjoy it. That was what my ambition was. Well, turns out that by the time I turned 35 and she turned 18, I was raising another set of children. And so with that, it's like the cycle just repeated itself and it just started over again. So. What was my ambition then? I guess to be 55 years old. When I'm 55, then that baby girl, she will uh, be getting ready to graduate and everything like that. So life is taking a whole lot of tailspins for me, but it's been an enjoyable ride. I must say that through the trials, the tribulations, there were always, always, always some climax of great and wonderful times that I've had with my family, with my friends, you know, um, with um, co-laborers in the gospel, so what, you know, so to speak. So um, I'm just grateful for my life period, you know, so I kept a good, good attitude toward life. And I think that that helps to preserve you. It helps to preserve your sanctity. It helps to preserve your strength, you know, and uh, health wise, it's, it's a bonus because 
you don't take in all of the negativity, you know, um, you release that stuff. And um, I think that I'm relatively healthy. You know, each time I go to the doctor, they kind of tell me that. So I can, I can believe, you know, what I believe in also, which is the word is the foundation to where all of the health and, and nourishment, everything comes from because I'm profound in that. I stay in the word. You know, and I declare it and I decree it and I believe it and I stand on it. You know, it's important to me. You know, that's the foundation that er everything stems from that. You know, um, it's the final authority in my life. Let us just say that. So um, I'm just grateful for that. But I wanted to just go back again and talk about this year 2020. I really wish I could really dictate what it is that I'm trying to say, but I think I might lose you all when I go and try to to uh, expound on some information that I have written. So um, I'll find a way to do it, okay? But I just wanted to um, just be able to just address um, some things that I'm speaking on in my writings, um, I want to be able to just um, allow you all an opportunity to know who the writer is, who the creator is, who is that person, just to get to know me. So uh, there's a lot of layers to me. I think that I'm fun. This is my own personal opinion. Family seem to seem to think so too. I have a lot of humor. A lot about me, a lot of people don't know about me because my circle is not a real, real big circle. And I've been covert as my spiritual mom, uh, Chief Apostle Kim Newhouse says that I'm covert, you know. And so uh, she hit the hammer on the nail with that. You know, I just believe that I call it discretion, but covertly means that you really move very carefully and you move, you know, and under the radar. So, yeah, I definitely have done that because a lot of things that I've done, you know, in life and stuff, especially when it comes to being a servant and also being one that is a giver, you know, a lot of things I've done to not do it out loud. So I'm changing the concept of the way that I do things in this year 2020 because I decided that I'm going to live my life out loud. So you can look to hear me. You can look to see me. You can look to get to know me, you know. Um, some may think that they already know me, but no, because you might not know some things about me. You might know some things in the past, but mm, I'm not quite that girl anymore, okay? So uh, we ain't going to hold on to that. I do like her, though. I like her. I liked her. I liked her then, you know, and I think that she was pretty cool, but uh, she ain't nothing like the one that, that who I am today. I have somebody who um, <laughs> references themselves as, the old or the new this or the new that, you know. Well, this is the new and improved Tanya, okay? And uh, I think that she's a very likable person. And as I was stating about the layers to me, yeah, fun-loving, uh, family-oriented, um, uh, ambitious, creative. So a lot of this stuff had not been shown. It hadn't been seen, you know. I have the time on my hand now. God has graced me with this opportunity to be able to explore my own ambitions and explore my creativity and explore the things I enjoy. What is it that makes me tick? What is it that I can offer this world? What can I do to make a difference, to leave my stamp in this world, you know, in this earth, in this life, and in the life of other people. What can I do, you know? Um, not to say that I haven't, because I, I have, you know, already. But I just want to do it on a bigger scale, you know, as more so than just my immediate circle and my family. And, and, and I, I just believe that God has something great and bigger for me to do. And um, I believe that you all, you know, are part of that scheme. And so um, I hope that I can be a light to somebody. I hope that um, maybe even a guy, a guy that uh, leads you 
to experience um, Christ for yourself, you know, in this life. And um, hope that um, there's something I can say or, or something that can inspire you to be your best self, you know, um, to allow yourself to be you to allow yourself to um, change some of your um, perceptions about who you are and about life in, this, in general, so that um, as myself, you will begin to live your life out loud, you know, and not feel as if that you have to um, go under the radar, live covertly, live in secret, live uh, ashamed, live defeated, you know? I don't know. I'm just here. I'm just a willing vessel. So this is where God has brought me to today, to this point in my life. And so we're just going to see where it goes. And so as I stated, this is Joy on the Journey with Apostle Elect. Yeah, I said it, Apostle Elect, soon to be Apostle Tanya Sevian, okay? And um, I appreciate if you all would just walk with me on this journey. And as my song keeps coming, walk with me, Lord, walk with me. Walk with me, Lord, walk with me. While I'm on this tedious journey. I want Jesus to walk with me. I want him to walk with you too. God bless you. Bye-bye, <laughs> dears.